Welcome back to part two of our 10 GBE editing series using a NAS. For those that aren't aware or didn't catch part one, nice and simple, what we're using is the program PowerDirector. Do check out the reasons in the other video. Um, and what we're seeing is just how well does editing on a 10 GBE NAS compare what, uh, with editing uh, locally. So before, when we edited it on a local drive, uh, it came in at about 31 minutes it took to edit a one gigabyte um, 1080p uh, WMV file. And once we tested it on the Netgear, we got to about 33 minutes of editing time. Do check out part one. So without further ado, let's kick start with part two. So once again, all of the editing files um, have been moved over to this QNAP. This is the TS932X, the new five hard drive four SSD NAS. And there we are, we've made a mapped drive. We've stuck all of those test files into that directory. Um, on that uh, network drive and here is the full edit there's where all the files are everything including the template file is now living on that Z drive that new mapped drive that we were going for as you can see all the different assets we're just double checking there they've all been found on the network drive so what we'll do just like before we're going to do a 10 GB um, sorry a 1080p edit uh, a 10 megabits per second bitrate file and we're going to uh, aim it directly into the directory on the 932x and what we'll do is we'll get this kick started and once again exactly the same layer exactly the same files and what we're going to see is how the pc behaves during this process so straight away like before the cpu usage is going to go bananas the cpu hits 100 percent very early on with that memory uh, usage once again sitting at around five gig and fluctuating up and down around that point again as you can see on the um the task manager there Disk usage localized in C and D are basically zero. Um, whereas the second ethernet port, the one we're using for 10 GBE, immediately hits the megabits per second there in terms of read. So we're gonna speed this up. And again, just like our last 10 GBE edit, we're noticing a lot, um, we're noticing a noticeable dip in GPU use. And again, I will look into how exactly this is happening during our test. A localized edit utilized more of the GPU than network-based files being edited in PowerDirector. But once again, what we're seeing right now is very similar result to that of uh, the Netgear edit. And it's nice to see that this fully proves this point about editing over 10 GBE, because the localized edit was being done with um, a hard drive and an SSD, both of them using SATA. So the fact that the 10 GBE doesn't exceed that means that the the PowerDirector software, we've kind of reached its own bottleneck because we are using quite dense MP4 files. I believe uh, even the sound file alone was about 103 meg with the video file weighing in at well over a gig uh, for that video file. But the, the results we're seeing here are comparable to that of that Netgear 10 GB edit and the QNAP TS932X is performing very well. Remember, this is utilizing SFP plus, so fiber. And again, we've scored in at 33 minutes. Again, very, very similar to that of our 10 GB and localized edit. So why don't we check out the last uh, unit on our selection here. We're going to look at the other QNAP, the TS963X. That is a 10G base T, base 10 GB NAS, and it's got an AMD CPU as well. And that'll be the final part of our test. So let's move over to that video, shall we? See you next time.